runners. Such a peculiar bunch of people. Some of them prefer to run every single day of the week, every week. Some of them run every second or third day. Some of them prefer long runs, while others prefer short runs. And man, some of them prefer running up a steep hill. It just gives them a go, motivation type of a thing. Some of them run just to look good. Accessories. And speaking of accessories, smartwatches. Not all of them are created equal. Some are good and some are just terrible. In today's video, that's what we're talking about. I almost forgot. Cue that intro music, boy! Alright guys, let's just straight up get into it and address the elephant in the room, okay? No, not all smartwatches are created equal. And the cheaper you go, the more you have to make peace with the fact that you are going to encounter some frustration, technical glitches, and annoyances. Unless, of course, you are someone who is just straight out the gate, already considering investing in one of the big heavy hitters like Apple, Samsung, Fitbit, and your Huawei smartwatches. And I get it, man. I seriously do. There are three clothing items that I always pay close and extra attention to sneakers shades and watches and it's not even about the price tag man it doesn't matter how low you go or how high you can get if i'm into it i will seriously be into it but if there is something that i'm seriously not into is dropping bundles and bundles of my hard-earned money on something that i won't even use to its full potential and that is the point of today's video guys the Polaroid Active Fitness Watch. And it comes in at a really decent price. But the question is, is it a worthy, cheap alternative next to the big heavy hitters that I've already mentioned? Now, I have had the pleasure of living and using this thing for the past mm, four months. So I know it's ins and out by now. I know what it can do and what it cannot do. Now, before I dive a little deeper into what the Polaroid Active Fitness Watch can do, let me throw a little spanner in the works, okay? Just to make you think. Before you go out and get a smartwatch, you have to consider this. What exactly do you want your smartwatch to do? That's the question that you should be asking yourself. And if you have it already, or you're not quite sure what it is that you're looking for, then you came to the right place. Okay, now, let's get into it. The Polaroid Active Fitness Watch has sleep monitor, multi-sports modes, heart rate monitor, a blood pressure indicator, and a pedometer. Let's backtrack and start with the feature I mentioned last, a pedometer. So basically, your Polaroid Fitness Active watch will count every single step that you make throughout the entire day. And depending on the goal that you set for yourself in the Polaroid Active app, be it 6,000 steps or 8,000 steps. And, and I think you can go a little bit higher. Once you've reached your goal, it will let you know, okay, by giving you like a couple of soft vibrations and it will have a little icon there on the screen saying, goal, you've reached your target for the day. It is now okay for you to go lay down on the couch and be lazy. Good job, you earned it. But of course, it would not be a smartwatch if it were not able to just count your steps. It's basic, basic smartwatch stuff. Feature number four, it is a blood pressure indicator. Now, if you are into that sort of thing, then you'll definitely appreciate feature number three. It is also a heart rate monitor. Now, keep in mind that a smartwatch is definitely not the most accurate way to read your blood pressure and your heart rate. But the Polaroid Active Fitness Watch does come pretty close. In other words, in the real world, in your day-to-day -day activities, 
it does get the job done pretty well. Feature number two, it has multi sports modes. And that's probably the reason why they have the name active in it. With your Polaroid active fitness watch, you are able to keep track of your walking, you know, distance covered and how many steps you took and how long your walk actually was. The same goes for running. It also has cycling, but I have not yet had the opportunity to use the cycling function. It also has skipping, yep, squash, <laughs> high intensity training, uh -huh. soccer, as well as swimming. And speaking of swimming, full disclosure by the way, I have not yet fully submerged my watch into water, except for when I have to wash my hands like 50,000 times a day, cause you know, COVID. And when I maybe have to wash the dishes at the end of the day. So I don't really know how it will respond to actually being fully submerged in a pool. Although they do say that it is IP68 splash proof. But hey, don't go taking my word for it, man. Be sure that you are willing to uh, <laughs> stuff up your watch after you go take a little dip. Don't quote me. All right. Feature number one sleep monitoring which i think is also pretty cool it does a pretty job considering the price that it comes in at when you go into the app it will actually tell you when you are in your deepest sleep and you were just maybe sort of just in some light sleep the only thing about that is for me personally i, I don't like going to bed with stuff attached to me you know it just it just it doesn't i don't do well with that so over the past uh, couple of days, I have been testing it out, going to sleep with it, just to see how accurate it would be with regards to reading my sleep. But I am impressed. It has been doing a pretty good job. And speaking about the app, right? And what it will tell you with regards to when you are in your deep sleep and in your light sleep. I rate whenever I was in my light sleep, according to the app, right? Is when the watch actually woke me up. Because my phone, for whatever reason, decided to send a notification to my watch at like 2 a.m. Man, that's like irritating. I mean, why? 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 Come on. My sleep is like the coolest part of my day, bruh. And with regards to notifications, the Polaroid Active Fitness Watch will actually read every single thing that you regard to be a notification on your phone. I mean, everything. Everything that basically pops up as a notification on your phone will then be transferred to your smartwatch. And I think that's also another point of the smartwatch. You don't really wanna be that guy when you are in a crowd, when you are maybe in a meeting or wherever, and you are constantly pulling out your phone, checking what's happening and who's blowing you up. That's the whole point of the smartwatch. You don't have to quickly just run to your phone when a message or a notification comes in. You can just simply tap on your watch, check out what's happening and what's up on your phone. So it will read your messages. It will read your emails and it will let you know when your phone battery is running low. Whatever you allow the app permission to do, it will always pop up on your smartwatch. Another ability that the smartwatch has is the fact that you are able to control whatever it is that you are watching or listening to via your smartphone. You are able to pause it, skip or rewind tracks and videos and whatever the case might be. And on top of all of that, via your Polaroid Active Fitness Watch app, you are able to take pictures. All you got to do is open up the app, get the watch ready. As soon as you're ready, strike a pose, click on the watch, say cheese. And you got a cool picture to go, man. But let's get serious for just a second, right? Remember I said at the beginning that not all smartwatches are created equal. So what do I think personally of the Polaroid Active Fitness Watch? Well, my one gripe, my one real gripe with the Polaroid Active Fitness Watch 
and this will probably be the reason why I will be upgrading to another smartwatch sometime in the near future. The folks down at Polaroid say that this is an active fitness watch. Okay, cool. And I'm a runner. So naturally, myself and my watch should get along well, right? Huh? No, we don't. We don't actually get along, me and my smartwatch, when it comes to when I'm out on my trail, running my route and whatnot. Time and time again, it has failed me when I was out running my route for the day. And then when I have to tally up how many kilometers I covered for that particular running session, if I maybe ran a five kilometer or a 10 kilometer or a 15 kilometer, whatever the case might be, it was always, and I mean always off by 700 meters. And I would be like, whoa, wait, what, huh? I'm pretty sure I ran my normal five kilometers. So why is my watch saying that I've only run 4.3 kilometers for the day? It doesn't make sense. I, for the, the first time that it happened, I was so confused, man, like perplexed, just completely lost. And like, I could not un understand or figure out what was happening. But eventually I realized that it was always off by 700 meters when I would go back, such an inconvenience, drive the route that I had just ran like a couple of minutes ago to confirm if I actually did cover five kilometers. And every single time, I kid you not, every single time it was always off by 700 meters. So eventually I just had to make peace with the fact that this is basically what my watch is doing. If I have run a 4.3 kilometer, automatically I know that that just means I have run a five kilometer instead of what the watch is actually telling me at that particular moment in time. And yes, I have made sure time and time again, I have not just taken it by whatever it is giving me. I have had to go back, either walk the trail or drive the trail again to be sure that if I have run the correct five kilometer that I set out to run or 10 kilometers or whatever the case might be for my running program for the day. And only because of that, I do not see myself keeping my watch for the foreseeable future. But otherwise, I really do actually quite like it. I mean, it does the basics, it gets the job done, considering the price that it comes in at. And if you just check down below in my description box, I will be making sure that I have links to all the different places that you can get the watch from and the price that it's currently going for. But you be the judge, man, you decide. I just basically wanted you to know that there are other alternatives out there, okay? So don't be that guy, bruh. Don't be that person that just walks into a store and immediately purchases the most expensive watch straight off the shelf. Especially if you actually have no real intentions for using it the way the manufacturer intended it for it to be used. All right, guys, thank you once again for tuning in for another installment of TP Check Your Tech. If you are into all things smart and you are into all things tech, don't be shy about it, bruh. Click that subscribe button right down there, right down there, and ding that bell so that YouTube will be able to personally send you a notification every single time I drop a new video. So until the next one, guys, stay teched out and God bless.